problems in the appeal, the Queen on the application of Johnson and the Secretary of State for the Home Department. Mr Johnson is not a good man. He has a bad criminal record, culminating in a conviction for manslaughter in 2008, for which he was sentenced to 11 years in prison. In 2011, the Home Secretary decided to deport him on the ground that he was a foreign national criminal liable to automatic deportation under the UK Borders Act 2007. However, such a person cannot be deported if to do so would breach his rights under the European Convention on Human Rights. Whatever else Mr Johnson may be responsible for, he is not responsible for the circumstances of his birth. He was born in Jamaica in 1985 to a Jamaican mother and a British father. They were not married to one another. When he was four, his father brought him to the United Kingdom and he has lived here ever since, having been granted indefinite leave to remain here when he was six. Under the law in force when he was born, he became a Jamaican citizen, but not a British citizen. He would have become a British citizen if his parents had been married to one another then, or if they had married one another later, or if his mother had been British and his father Jamaican, because children of unmarried parents could take their mother's but not their father's nationality. He would also have been granted British citizenship if he or his father had applied for it while he was a child. One of the advantages of British citizenship is that one cannot be deported. The law has since changed so that people born on or after the 1st of July 2006 are automatically entitled to British citizenship by descent if either their mother or their father is a British citizen born here, whether or not the parents were married to one another. This was the culmination of a series of reforms which did away with discrimination against the children of parents who were not married to one another and gave them equal status with the children of married parents. People in Mr Johnson's position who were born before that date can apply for British citizenship and will be granted it, provided that they are of good character, which of course Mr Johnson is not. Mr Johnson complained that it would breach his convention rights to deport him because the discrimination between people whose parents were and were not married to one another could not be justified. The Home Secretary re rejected this claim and certified that it was clearly unfounded so that he could not launch an appeal against it uh, in this country. So he brought these proceedings to challenge that certificate. The High Court held that the discrimination violated his convention rights and quashed the certificate. The Court of Appeal held that there was no violation when he was born, which was long before the Human Rights Act came into force. The Su Supreme Court unanimously allows his appeal. There's no convention right to a nationality, but a denial of citizenship which has important effects upon a person's identity falls within the scope of the right to respect for private life protected by Article 8, and thus triggers the prohibition of discrimination in the enjoyment of that right contained in Article 14. Very weighty reasons are required to justify discrimination on the ground of birth status. In this case, what had to be justified was his current liability to deportation when he would not have been so liable but for the accident of birth for which he was not responsible. No justification had in fact been put forward. It followed that his appeal against deportation was not clearly unfounded and indeed was bound to succeed. The court also makes a declaration that the law imposing a good character requirement on people denied citizenship simply because their parents were not married to one another is incompatible with the convention rights. The court will now adjourn.